Hello, I am your kingdom, spiritual transformational and life purpose life coach and mentor Latricia Booker. And I'm popping in on you just to let you know that God is frustrating your enemies. That's right, kingdom people. God is frustrating your enemies. And so kingdom people, God had just been showing me, just giving me images of them ones, you know, trying they, all their little tricks, them ones plotting, them ones trying to do their little magic and their little spells. And God was saying that they are so frustrated because he's frustrating them. God said, I'm frustrating your enemies. It's kind of, he kept showing me this, this literal image, like he's doing this. With whatever they planning and whatever they working with on whatever they plotting, he just kept showing me this. <laughs> like that's what he's doing with their plans, with they plan. He just frustrating them. He doing this to everything they're trying to do. Where you're concerned, Canaan people. And then he had took me back to a couple of videos I've done. It's been some time ago. I'm sure well over a year ago. And you know, one of them was he ripped up their playbook. You know how the football game, the football team, they have a playbook. They have different plays. They decide what they're going to do. You know, how they're going to move on each play depending on how their competitors are playing. And so God was showing me back then how he ripped, took their playbook and ripped it up. And then it's another video I did. And he brought all this to mind how he said he just snatched their playbook. Because they went after he ripped it up. They went and got another one, and they was like, had some more plays, writing down some more plays, which is plotting and planning. <laughs> How they gonna get you? And so he said he just snatched that playbook. Now he's saying he frustrating your enemies, because they keep going and they keep going and they keep going. It's some king, king of people, some people, they literally just won't stop. And God is saying that he is frustrating them, and they frustrated just anyway, because you're continuing to move forward, King of People. You're continuing to, to you know, walk things out with God. You're walking into your promised land. You're walking into what God has for you. And some of these people are people that have been trying for a long time. Some of them for years. Some of them all your life. And so, King of People, these people are just frustrated just on the strength that you keep going and what's happening is that they're realizing that their plans are not working their plots are not working and you know i almost don't want to bring this up but it's like really weighing heavy on my spirit as i'm talking because god kept making me aware over these last few days of certain ones who are you know trying to put spells and curses on you you know and you know even if they're just sending out negative energy you know how people would just wish the worst for you and sometimes you are aware that you can pick up on that but because your resolve is so strong because your protection is so strong because god is in you god is with you god covers you and protects you it really can't affect you especially when you have no contact with them when you're not in contact with these people and you're not interacting with them it's no, they could, they can only try from the outside. And so that's what they're doing, King of People. And they're getting frustrated. They're getting, they're really frustrated. Not getting frustrated. I'm hearing they're really frustrated. And God said, they not only just frustrated because they ain't nothing they can do, but God said, He is on purpose frustrating them as well. He doing this. He frustrating them. He making them frustrated. And so Psalm 81 and 14 says, I would quickly subdue your enemies and turn my hand against your adversaries. And so this scripture speaks about when you listen to God, this is what he'll do for you. And so kingdom people, because you follow God, you walk with God, you're obedient, you're walking in his plan and his purpose for your life. You're seeking his righteousness and his kingdom and him. And because you're doing that, he says that, he will quickly subdue your enemies and turn his hand against your adversary. So he's frustrating your enemies, kingdom people. God is coming against your enemies. He's frustrating them and he's frustrating them on purpose. And God kind of gave me too how many people are trying to frustrate you. They want you to be frustrated. People want you to be miserable. People want you to be sad. And God really spoke to me about this this morning, how people are frustrated because 
you know, sometimes, kind of people, when people are doing negative things towards you that's not nice, they're looking for you to respond with hatred, with bitterness, with resentment. They want you to be angry. They want you to be upset. They're looking for that coming from you. And what it is, kingdom people, is frustrating to them that you're not doing that. You're not bothered. You're, you're not frustrated with them trying to frustrate you. God is frustrating them for trying to frustrate you. And so, kingdom people... <laughs> Some people just want you to be bitter. And what happens is when you're in those type of energies, you're a, you're not aligned with what God has for you. So the enemy many a times uses these people on purpose to get just keep you out of alignment with God. That's mainly the whole point. That even the enemy knows if you're upset and bothered and bitter because of what somebody did to you or hanging on to so something that happened, you can't really walk into what God has for you. You have to forgive. You have to release these things and you have to move lightly. You have to, you know, move easy. You have to be in the flow with God and these things takes you away from the flow. And so, like I said, many a times the enemy uses these people and sometimes the, these people know this as, as well. They know this as well. Sometimes. And so the thing is, can the people, all that they're throwing at you, all that they're doing, you know, you 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 easy like Sunday morning. You know, even if you have your mama some frustration, you don't stay there. Even if you have your things to deal with, you dealing with it with God. And y'all work it out and y'all get through it. You're not hanging on to any negative energy. You're not hanging on to any... You know, I'm just hearing a scripture how I say, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Many of these people, they do that. And as I said before, they want you to... Some people want you to be bothered and bitter over something that you experience some hurt that you experience but kingdom people here's the thing even when you hurt even when something go happens you get over it you don't just stay hurt but here's the thing kingdom people some people do and what i've come to learn is people that want you to be hurt want you to be frustration frustrated they're trying to have you in that space it's because they're holding on to things that they never let go of they never healed from they didn't forgive so they're hanging on to, they may even be hanging on to something that they perceive that you've done to them. And maybe something you have done, but you know how the saying goes, like you move on with your life. Sometimes people be holding on to something, again, that they perceive you done harm towards them. And you be moving on with your life. And sometimes what they perceive you have done, have done wrong to them, you really didn't. It's just that they didn't get the desired results from you what they wanted to do and in many of these cases kingdom people is that they couldn't take you down they couldn't frustrate you they couldn't stop you and block you and unfortunately these people tend to take that as you done a wrong to them but even if it's a situation where something did transpire you know you move on with your life that's what you're supposed to do kingdom people if someone has done some things inappropriate to you yeah it may have hurt at one point you may have to go through the process you may have to heal you forgave but you let go and you moved on you're not hanging on to what somebody did to you and what i've learned kingdom people these people that god is frustrating they don't know how to do that they don't know how to let go and move on and many a times with you is because of who you are it's because of who you are. You are a gift, kingdom people. You are a gift that people want to have. People want to keep, but they don't want to see you prosper and blossom. They want to oppress the gift. They want to, you know, stifle the gift. They don't want you, to, don't, they, don't want, they don't want to see you be God's best. And that's frustrating them. And God is frustrating them because of it. Because God is, I'm just hearing, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. But they want to do you harm, kingdom people. They want you to be frustrated. They want you to be bogged down, busted and disgusted, oppressed in a jar, in prison, in mental prison, all that kingdom people. They want that for you. And because that's not what's happening to you, they are frustrated. And because they continue to try to do things to put you in this entrapment that they want you in so bad badly even though god is saying no that's not her destiny that's not what i have for her or for him take your hands off of my child even though they continue in spite of the fact that god is telling them to leave you be kingdom people 
they continue and they continue. And because of that kingdom of people, God is frustrating them. God is frustrating your enemies because nothing your enemies are doing, is doing, are doing, <laughs> whatever your enemies are doing, it's not frustrating you. But God is frustrating them. Deuteronomy 30 and 7 says, The Lord your God will inflict all these curses on your enemies and on, and on those who hate you, who persecuted you. So, King of the People, they trying to inflict all this harm on you, all these curses, and God is saying, no, I'm putting it on them. All those that hate you, I'm inflicting them. He said, I got them. I'm frustrating them. I'm putting curses on them. I'm putting hurt on them. And King of the People, here's the thing. The more they go and the more they get frustrated and get and, and continue to try to harm you because they're frustrated because it's not working, the more frustrated God make them. So the more they go, the more God goes. But God said he's frustrating your enemies. He, They are very, king of people, very frustrated. I hate to say something like this, but many of these people are going to die this way. They're, they're actually killing themselves by coming at you. There, there is eating away at their soul because the more you continue to conjure up and operate in this dark energy, <laughs> which means you're conjuring up demons. You know, I'm hearing um, principalities and happy, spiritual wickedness and principalities and high places. The more you conjure these things up and you allow these things to operate in you, the more it pulls and eats at your soul. The more it picks at your spirit. The more you are uh, deteriorating spiritually internally and so king of people these people are frustrated your enemies are frustrated because they can't frustrate you they can't take you out they can't stop you they can't make you bitter they can't make you angry they just can't 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 and king of people god is frustrating them they're frustrated they're wanting to frustrate you but god is frustrating them then lastly we have psalm 6 and 10 and it says all my enemies will be ashamed and greatly dismayed. They shall turn back. They will suddenly be ashamed. And this is what God is saying, that they're going to be ashamed. When it's all said and done, they're going to be ashamed and dismayed. And I'm hearing some of them already ashamed. Some of them are already embarrassed. And two, what's happening too, what God put on my spirit this morning is, because some of these people, they have said so much about you. King people, they have just made up their minds as to what your fate would be. And it's not looking like that. And they're trying to make it be what they want it to be, as if it's up to them. And that's frustrating them. God is frustrating them because of that. They want it to be what they want it to be. It's not about what they want it to be. It's about what God said it is and what you say too. What you are in agreement with what God say. And they want to have their say. And there, and because of that, God is frustrating them because you are not theirs to dictate what should go and not go in your life. It's not up to them. They should be more focused on their life. God gave me this this morning about a certain person. Sometimes, kingdom of people, people can be so focused on you that they lose themselves. And that's what's happening. Some people are so focused on you, they lost, they losing themselves. They don't even know who they are anymore, if they ever really knew. They're definitely just not in a place where they have their they have a grasp on themselves. They're out of balance. They're out of whack because they're so focused on frustrating you and kingdom people. God is saying that he, in return, <laughs> is frustrating your enemies. God is frustrating your enemies, kingdom people. He frustrating your enemies. And that's all I have to say about that. So, kid people, if you like this video and or if it resonates with you, please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Click on that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Thank you. And then click on that bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video, something like this one, kid people. Also, if you're interested in my services, if you're interested in listening to my podcast show, purchasing my book, The Girl in the Mirror by Sheila Brooks. Sheila Brooks is my pen name. King of people, you can find all the information right down below in the description box along with other helpful resources. So, King of people. I love you all. I thank you all. I really appreciate you being here. You all know I don't want to leave you, but I do have to go right now. But I will be back to hold my kingdom people down. Now, kingdom people, 
above all else let the holy spirit lead you in all things at all times kingdom people we are untouchable we are unmovable we are unbreakable and we are unstoppable that is my time jesus girl is out peace